Oil ministers of the OPEC nations meeting in Vienna still haven't decided how much more to increase the price of oil next week. Yeah. Okay, he came in the building about five minutes. Ago. Wall VTA. Nine, eight, 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 Four, three, two, one. This has been the most business meeting the oil states have ever had. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the streets. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living room. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I want you to get mad. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the streets. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value.